Read the shoot release manual, brief and well written. Pressing left or right button turns on the shoot release. Light bars indicate battery charge level. For good battery health, keep charge to four or five bars. Press left button to lower altitude setting. Press left button past lowest setting for ground test. Press right button to raise altitude setting. Press right button past highest setting to turn off. For water rocketry, set at 200 feet regardless of deployment method. Additional items not supplied with chute release. Nose cone, chute, hole punch, straw, paper clip, 8 inch cable ties, scissors, small metal ring, optional. Watch how to make a nose cone video for creating the nose cone. Watch water rocket parachute deployment to attach the chute. Punch two holes one quarter inch above the edge on opposite sides of the nose cone. Cut straw at least one inch long or longer. Thread one large band through the cut straw with a paper clip. Thread the straw through a hole in the nose cone. Cow hitch the band over the straw and pull taut. Cow hitch the other end around the pin ring. Warning, omitting the straw results in incomplete nose cone release. The straw also protects the band from the sharp edges of the hole. Warning, the grippy band may catch on top of the rocket. Perform steps two through five for the other nose cone hole or loop a metal ring through the nose cone hole.
cow hitch a band around the small metal ring. The ring can wear the bottle, only use it on one side. Cut straw about one inch long and thread over eight inch cable tie. Thread cable tie through the band with no pin. Loop cable tie around the neck of the bottle and cinch loosely. Trim off excess cable tie, but not totally flush with the head. Adjust straw so that the band is over it. Loop another cable tie around this tie. With bar on the side of chute release at the bottom, tether to it. Cinch cable tie so chute release remains horizontal with release pin facing up. Trim off excess cable tie, but not totally flush with the head. Put three to four folds in the chute. Loosely wrap shroud lines around the chute. Cover chute with a nose cone. Stretch band all the way down and snap in the release pin. Adjust bands on both sides so that they are not touching shroud lines. Make them straight and opposite of each other. Center nose cone on top of the rocket. Perform shake and release test before every flight. Turn on the chute release and you're ready to launch. Tether the chute release around all the shroud lines, or you'll lose it. Put two folds in the chute. Loop all the shroud lines on top of the remaining chute. Fold the chute to completely cover all the lines. This prevents a rubber band from entangling upon release. Wrap the rubber band around the chute and snap in the release pin. Face top of pin toward the back. Press the chute into a cone shape. Check that the fall away nose cone seats were adjust accordingly. Set altitude at 200 feet. Perform shake and release test before every flight. Turn on the chute release and you're ready to launch.
Notice the shoot release turns off after deployment. Loop all the shroud lines around the center of the FTC rocket. A longer band may be needed for stretching around the fuselage. Tether the chute release around all the shroud lines or you'll lose it. Put two folds in the chute. Loop all the shroud lines on top of the remaining chute. Fold the chute to completely cover all the lines. Wrap the rubber band around the rocket and chute. Snap in the release pin. Keep the chute tight against the fuselage by spreading the bands. Turn on the chute release and set altitude at 200 feet. Perform shake and release tests before every flight. Tether the chute release to one shroud line or you'll lose it. Put two to four folds in the strata chute. Pull all the shroud lines taut. Wrap the rubber band around the rocket and chute. Snap in the release pin. Face top of pin toward the back. Keep the chute tight against the fuselage by spreading the bands. Turn on the chute release and set altitude at 200 feet. Perform shake and release tests before every flight. <laughs> 